Alrighty, people. <clears throat> Chapter 9. The field trip turned road trip. What? Okay, whatever. Okay, and the earth wants to break the silence. Oh, let me break. Them and them lover. This is horrible. <laughs> he is such a stalker, bro. What are you doing here? What, you're not excited to see me? No, bitch, because you a stalker. What the fuck? <laughs> How did you even find me? A little tracking, a little locating. No biggie. I should have guessed. Don't you want to know why I'm here? No, Jordan. I thought you tracked me down to chill, to chill and have a few drinks. I'm glad to see the great outdoors has not diminished your sharp wit. Nothing could. So, you're with this guy again? It's quite an intense moment I walked in on, in, on there. Um, it's nothing. Didn't look like nothing. If she said it was nothing, it's nothing. Bitch, okay, what is this problem? I don't want to get into it right now. Just tell me what you're here for. Can we talk inside? Sure, follow me. Where the hell all the people go? I thought he was having a party or some shit. Are you going to stop being so secretive and tell me what's going on? Um, Have you heard of Carlene Atlas? Uh, Is that some sort of map? What is that, some sort of map? No, it's a woman. A woman by the name of Carlene Alice. Never heard of her. She was your mother's cellmate at the, ju of the juvenile detention center in Texas. She was. Yes, and I'm willing to bet she'll have some information on your mother. She was in juvie a long time ago. What makes you think she have any clue about her now? It's worth a try, isn't it? She's willing to meet with us tonight. But we have to leave right now. I can't leave right now. I'm in the middle of a school trip. <laughs> this is the only chance you have to catch her. She's staying in the hotel in New York, and she's only there for one night. Well, one more night. She goes back to Europe in the morning. Bitch, I don't know, Jordan. Though this is the only leave we have had on your mother in months. Don't let this slip through your fingers. I can't just leave. You have to pack. I can have you back by the morning. No one will ever know you were gone. I will. Well, well. Gotta. How long have you been in here? Well, bitch. Well, I was trying to get some sleep when you and your mystery boy over here walked in. <laughs> right. <laughs> the name is Jordan Gorgeous. Jordan, get your ass. Oh. All right, all right. <laughs> I won't mess with you. If you're going to New York, you're taking me with you. You want to come? You want to come with? I've always wanted to go to the Big Apple. Okay, girl. Well, looks like then uh, we got ourselves a road trip. I can't believe we're going to New York City. Believe it, baby, because we're going. Yeah, not a big fan of the whole baby thing. You should feel lucky. At least you're not sugar. <laughs> he calls you sugar. Long story. <laughs> Right, shit. I know, wait, I know you said you wanted to know more about your real mom. But I had no idea you were looking for her. It wasn't exactly information I was going to post on Ridgeview, on the Ridgeview Prep Bulletin. I understand. I think it's really cool that you're trying to find her. Thanks. It wasn't easy for me to let people in. I know y'all don't want us to be supportive, but I just wasn't comfortable talking about this with her. I had no reason to be uncomfortable. I knew y'all wouldn't judge me, but I couldn't help that. The only person I had ever talked about my mother with was Jordan, and Jordan was different. Different than anyone else, especially here. He had seen me at my lowest point. He had seen my at my lowest point and helped me out <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what exactly happened to us. We were so good in the beginning and eventually things got ugly. 
Bernie never tells you so. Okay, uh, I moved into Jordan's house about a month after we got together. We had two other roommates, but they were never around. Oh, bitch. It wasn't pretty, girl. At this point in time, neither of us were making this decent money. We were relying on ramen noodles and roommates to survive. But that's the only way we were coping with everything. I seriously can't believe Jordan is at home yet. It's two in the morning. Door slams, bitch. What the hell? Where the hell have you been? Why does it matter, babe? I just want to get to sleep. It matters because I'm your girlfriend and you've been gone for 18 hours. I have stuff to do. Are you drunk? Why do you always ask me that? Maybe because this, this isn't the first time this week you've come home completely trashed. Maybe I wouldn't feel the need to get drunk all the time if you weren't so goddamn annoying. I'm annoying because I care about you and I worry about your safety. You're turning into your father. An alcoholic loser, bitch. Oh. Mm. I'm so sorry, baby. I didn't mean to do that. Duh, please. I didn't mean it. You know I never do that to you. Oh, what? Bitch, but you just slapped the fuck out of me. What are you talking about? You were right. I'm not I'm not in my right mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so stunned that all, that all I could do was cry. I had poured my heart into Jordan all about all the foster homes that had slapped me around. And then he does the same thing. He looked me right in my eyes and slapped me across the face. I knew that he was drunk and out of his mind, but that was the last straw for me, honey. I ran away from homes for doing the same thing, and I wasn't going to let him hit me, regardless of how much I thought I loved him. If I had, if I hadn't gotten out of, out then, I don't know what would have. I don't know if I would ever, if I ever would have. Go to hell, Jordan. Dub, wait, please, no, fuck you, bitch. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Dove. Please forgive me. <laughs> this was the last time I cried. The last time I felt safe enough to trust someone. Aw. Well. Dove, are you still with us? No, no. Yeah, sorry. Just got lost in a thought. I saw Jordan one time after that before he showed up to my in my bedroom. He had begged me to forgive him, to take him back. I just couldn't. I promised myself I would never put up with someone that hit me. Not even once. I really thought I loved Jordan, but it was never meant to be. We're almost there. Let's see if this woman has any answers for me. Manhattan tent house. Bitch, you got the coin, girl. Knock on the door. Oh, she's cute. Coming. Dove? Wow, you look just like your mother. So you already know who I am. I may have already told her. She would she wouldn't meet with us until I told her. I get a lot of stalkers these days. You can never be too careful. Stalkers? Why would you have stalkers? Would you like to sit down and talk? Just the two of us? No way I'm le not leaving her alone with a stranger. You could be a serial killer for all I know. I think you would know if I was a serial killer, Jordan. <laughs> I know what kind of business you are in and that you're already done an exclusive background check on me. Um, well, excessive background check on me. You're not the only one with a highly skilled uh, security team. She got you. Uh, what do you say, Dove? Sure. Great. Follow me. I take it you don't like people putting you in your place. She did not put me in my place. Whatever you say, Jordan. <laughs> nice view you got here. Isn't it beautiful New York City at night? It's, best, it's one of 
the most breathtaking sights. What exactly do you do for a living? This kind of suite with a view like that must cost a fortune. It is quite expensive. Luckily, I, my company is paying for me to stay here. Oh. One of the top defense attorneys for a company overseas. I'm just in the city on a bit of personal business. You look really young for to be so high profile. No offense. None taken. I'm sure my plastic surgeon would appreciate that. Okay, girl. I can't stay young forever. But as long as my insurance covers baseless, I will be at least young. I will at least look young. Hell no. Okay. Um, verted out. So, I'm here to get some information on my mother, and I know you two were cellmates in juvie. It's quite astonishing how much you look like your mom. You guys could be twins. You knew her a long time ago. You're right. It's been quite some time since I've last seen Elizabeth. Do you know what uh what she was in there for? She would never tell me. What do you mean? I was only I was only in the center for a year before they let me out. Um ask her what she was there for. No fuck that. I don't give a fuck what she want what she did. I should probably just focus on my mom. But uh did she have any hobbies or any visitors? Shit, what the fuck? Elizabeth was a very quiet girl. She was always alone, drawing or writing. I remember she kept this journal on her whenever she went. Well, wherever she went. Did you ever see what was inside of the journal? Nope, never. Anytime I got near the thing, she would basically chew my head off. <laughs> she also used to get a lot of letters. What kind of letters? I'm not sure, but they were definitely all from the same person. I recognized the envelope in the handwriting every time she got one. You never saw a name? Nope, I'm sorry I didn't. Your mom was a very private person. This bitch, okay. I'm sorry I haven't been much help to you, Dub. Okay, so what the fuck did you really want to see me for? No, it's okay. Any information is good. Well, I'm available if you ever have any any more questions. I can give you my card. Thank you. It was quite... Stop, stop. That's a very, that's a very caring and protective boyfriend you got out there. Jordan is definitely not my boyfriend. But whatever he is, he really cares about you. Thanks, Caroline. Well, Karen, or whatever the hell, anytime now. What the fuck her name is? It's ugly as shit. Corinne. You guys ready to go? Anything new? Nothing useful. Damn, another dead end. It's okay. Let's just go. Is she alright? I don't know her well enough to read her yet. Trust me, baby. Even if you knew her, you wouldn't be able to read her. Let's just let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> By the time we get back on the highway, the sun was starting to come up. Most of the drive was silent. I could tell Jordan was dying to ask me more about what... Caroline ass said, but he wasn't pushing it. And Yana was doing schoolwork in the back seat. Yana ass. I wasn't sure what to tell them. Most of what she said was useless information, except for the stuff about the journal and the letters. But what good would that be to Jordan? It wasn't like he could hack into her journal. <laughs> Are you gonna tell me are you gonna tell me anything about your conversation? There isn't much to tell. I know there is something on your mind. I can see your mind racing from here. Her and my mom didn't know each other very well. Apparently my mom really kept to herself while in juvie. Did she at least tell you what she was in for? She didn't know why my mom why my mother was there. I'm I mean what was uh Carrie in juvie for? I didn't ask her. Well, why not? Well, I was there to find out about my mother, not her. It might have been useful. I doubt it. She did mention that my mom kept a, a journal and that she had someone writing her letters. The same person over and over. See, that's something. What exactly can I do with that information? Do you still think she had the journal? Um, You know, before she uh left? That's a good question. Everything she left behind is in the storage facility. Do you know where it is? No, I don't. Well, that's my next project. 
You don't have to work on this anymore, Jordan. I'm starting to look like a, it's starting to look like a waste of time. She doesn't want to be found. I'm not giving up on. I'm not giving up, and neither should you. Now let's get you two back to cat. You only ain't giving up because you didn't slap the hell out of my ass. And you want me to forgive your spanking ass. <laughs> Thanks for the road trip. Sorry if it was a waste of time. It was a lead, Dove. No lead is a waste of time. You're going to find your mom, Dove. I just know it. Thanks, yeah. Um, You should probably head inside before everyone starts waking up. Thanks for taking me to the Big Apple. Anytime, gorgeous. Oh, my God. Get your ass on. Don't do it, Jordan. I'm afraid I don't know what you're referring to, Dove. <laughs> I mean it. Don't real hurry in and dump her like the rest of them. What makes you think I'd do that? I know you pretty damn well, remember? You still don't trust me, do you? No, bitch, no. You don't exactly have the best track record with women. Thanks, Dove. I really should get back to inside before. Uh-oh. Uh yep, God damn it. There's the guy. I think I better go. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Wuss. <laughs> what the hell are you thinking, Dove? A road trip to New York in the middle of the night? Are you insane? No, I don't think so. This is not funny, Dove. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not like we got into any trouble. I'm here, aren't I? That's not the point, Dove. What exactly is the point, then? Because I'm a little confused. The point is that you left a school supervised event with a complete stranger. Jordan is not a stranger. What? He's not. <laughs> what if something had happened to you, Dove? It didn't. Everything is fine. I had no idea where you were. Do you have any idea how scary it is to walk into a room and you're not in your door? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you're nowhere to be found. <laughs> Did she almost call me her daughter? <laughs> I'm sorry. I really didn't think about it like that. I know that, that you're not used to answering to somebody, but I really need to know where, you go, where you're going and what you're doing. Especially if you're going to run off to the city in the middle of the night. You're right. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Thank you. Now go get ready for the day. Today is the final competition. Yay. I'll meet you outside in 10 minutes. <laughs> Well, you sure talked your way out of that one. <laughs> I thought for sure she was going to murder you in cold blood. <laughs> I think she wanted to. You should have seen Jordan run out of out of here like the place was on fire. Whoops, that's what I said. <laughs> oh, is that my outfit? Yeah, it is. I didn't, I didn't like anything in my bag, so I borrowed something of yours. I hope that's okay. It's fine. It looks... Bitch, thanks. No, it's not. Bitch, you just went through my shit and just decided to get you out, bitch. <laughs> oh, honey. You really... Are you ready for the final competition? Who does that? Okay. Now I'm wishing Rose already had killed me. Really had killed me. Come on. It won't be that bad. It says the team leader who doesn't have to compete. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of biased. You think? Get dressed up. You only have six minutes. <sighs> and counting. Mm, messy bomb back. Good to go. The final competition ended up being a five mile race. If there was any if there was one thing I could do right, it was running. <laughs> I've been doing it my whole life. I was at least a mile ahead of everyone and didn't feel an ounce of pain or exhaustion. If anything, the last leg of the race could give me some time to clear my head. So many things were just were going on in my life. I just needed to take a break and run. I didn't know what to think about everything that happened in the past few days. From my conversation with you, I 
I got nothing left of. No family, no money, nothing. So my kiss for Killian. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> forget all about that. I should probably uh, go find Yana. Duh. Woohoo! Lips on lips, baby. <laughs> oh. Favorite just get my toys off. Oh, he brought his hands up to my face and struck my oh, face. Okay, come on now. Woo, I literally had to catch my goddamn breath. He took a step toward me and leaned in with a centimeter from my ear. I've been waiting to do that since the day I met you. Okay, people. <sighs> to my heated conversation with Sean. Sean is irritating as fuck, y'all. <laughs> I see you and Killian are getting along nicely. I'm not in the mood to dance around the topic all night. I just didn't know that you two were together. We're not, but I don't see how any of that is your business. I like you, Dub. Sean, for like the thousandth time, you have a freaking girlfriend. Don't you think I know that? I can't exactly stop myself from feeling this way, Dub. It's not my problem, Sean. <laughs> And now everything that happened with, uh, at uh, Corrine's, I was just starting to get overwhelmed. I had no idea what I wanted or, more importantly, what I needed. Before I knew it, I was at the beach. Bad well, back at the beach. You won. I need to catch my breath Dove you're like miles ahead of everyone else who knew you could run like that I did that was seriously impress impressive um why are they why are those two asses right there shouldn't they be running with you know against me cause oh wait they won they won okay whatever I guess this is what happens when you don't have 110 pounds of dead weight to carry around are you referring to Jill? Who else would announce their weight to the entire gym class? I just like to run. It's one of my happy places. Looks like she caught up. Babe. You did incredible, babe. Second place. Is he really trying to make me jealous by flirting with his girlfriend? Idiot. Duh. Um, I need to ask you a favor. Okay. What the fuck do you want, bitch? To be continued, people. To be continued. See you next time, guys.